Wednesday, so you know what it is, what it do, what it is. I am the Grizz, and welcome back to Yesterday Today. And today we are gonna talk about how a big former Switch exclusive is ending up on Game Pass and PC in general. And we got a new studio uh, making some games for PlayStation, but you might actually be surprised. But this is Yesterday Today, March 17th, 2021. Alright, so let's talk about Game Pass. It seems that Xbox Game Pass is in the news almost every day, right? Well, this one is really, really huge. I mean, really big. So, you remember Octopath Traveler, how that was only on the Nintendo Switch? Then it kind of went over to PC. Well, now it's on PC, but also the Xbox. Because it is on Game Pass, along with a slew of other things. So, yesterday they announced that Outriders will be on Game Pass, day and day. That's great news as it is, right? So they just wanted to continue going down the uh, RPG route, and they went for a JRPG, a big one at that. Octopath Traveler was one of the bigger games on Nintendo Switch, and a lot of people loved it. And now that it's going to reach a bigger audience, a lot more people will get to experience and love it. Because you got to shout out Xbox just given the fact that they are really trying to get a presence over there in, in Japan. And, well, with stuff like Octopath Traveler, you definitely can get it. And they got they, they got Yakuza games and everything on it. And I really, really think this is a huge, huge deal. But Octopath is really just a headliner. That is not the only game that is there. And I will tell you the games along with their dates. And here we go. So that was available just yesterday, Undertale. That was on Cloud Console and PC. Empire, Empire of Sin will be available March 18th on Cloud Console and PC. Near Automata, which has been on Xbox Game Pass, but not on the PC front. That will officially be there March 18th. Now, Star Wars Squadrons, part of EA Play, but now also part of Game Pass. And that will be there on the console front March 18th. Torchlight 3, which is now officially on PC, a Diablo-like. Go right in. I was almost ready to actually did download it on my Xbox just last night and this news broke well I, I downloaded it two days ago and this news broke yesterday so this is actually pretty pretty awesome so March, that's March 18th Genesis Noir on console and PC March 25th now I'm not very familiar with Genesis Noir but here's a quick synopsis it says a noir adventure spanning time and space when a love triangle between cosmic beings be becomes a bitter confrontation you'll witness a gunshot fired by a jealous god otherwise known as the Big Bang Jump into the expanding universe and search for a way to destroy creation and save your love. Sounds pretty indie-ish and pretty interesting. And then of course, Octopath Traveler will be on both console and PC March 25th. Now, Pillars of Eternity, another RPG, Deadfire Ultimate Edition will be on the PC front March 25th. Superland, March 25th. Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, Cloud Console and PC. March 25th. Narita Boy Cloud Console and PC March 30th. And this is, appears to be an uh, action adventure game. And I'm, I'm going to check all of this stuff out. And then, of course, the big deal Outriders. Now, I really, really is just, I just can't get enough of this. Xbox Game Pass, literally the best value in gaming. Now, you can buy Octopath Traveler for $60 on a Nintendo Switch, or you can just have Cloud or PC or whatever. Get a quick Xbox, stream it on your Xbox. Xbox Game Pass is literally the greatest value in gaming. Alright, lads and ladders, I want to finish up with a specific article from Video Games Chronicle. Let's talk about Jade Raymond. She was one of the former bosses over at Stadia after they X'd out and they axed some of their divisions and they're still working over there, but you know, they axed some people, but she bounced back. You could tell she's strong. She bounced back really, really quickly because now there's a studio that she's the head of and it is called Haven Entertainment Studios and it will be based in Montreal, Canada. Now, if you're wondering who Jade Raymond is, but she has worked on Assassin's Creed and she's worked at EA, so she does not have a questionable pedigree. She wants that smoke and she seems like she's ready and I'm excited to see what's going on because they will be making an exclusive PlayStation IP as their first game and of course, more stuff to more PlayStation, and if it has adaptive triggers, you know I'm with it. So, really, really excited and can't wait to see what Haven Entertainment Studios does.